Hello my love, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and this is Franklin. Nova is right over my shoulder on this side. So if you see a huge horse walking behind me, it's definitely her. So earlier today, I received a message. Sorry, I was just trying to catch my breath, number one, but also remember, I received this message, this intuitive download about someone re-entering into your life. I felt as though this would be someone who would be like a past love or a past connection. However, at the same time, this could easily be someone from your childhood who wishes to re-enter into your life. I'm an astrologer, I believe in astrology, so there's this feeling that it might be Mercury retrograde related. I could easily see how that is the case. However, there was this additional abundance of caution that needed to be expressed before this person even fully enters into your life. As soon as the divine kind of showed this person re-entering, I saw the energy kind of squinting because they are skeptical or they want you to be skeptical about the intentions, the actual intentions of this person. And there was a word of caution and something that you can do to make sure that this person if you are someone who is considering welcome them, welcoming them back into your life, there's something that you can do to make sure that they quote unquote kind of pass this test. So right away, I understood as I sat with the message, I understood that this person initially when they come back into your life, it would seem as though their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions are genuine. And a part of why this is so convincing is because your heart, your soul, your spirit wants so badly to make that true, to for that to be the case, because there's a lot of love between you and this person. I think initially that this person feels that there's a lot of love and respect and caring and I don't know why I heard mutual ambition, like there's something about your ambition or your goals or if you hear noise, in the background, it's Nova drinking, and when she drinks, it also sounds like a horse. Nova, come here. So this person really admires all the all the cool, uh, traits that make you you, and since you've exited out of their life, or since you've kicked them out of your life, or put them in a position where they do not have full access to you, which was a very painful, gut-wrenching experience for you, they have begun to live their life, and it feels like, I just heard, um, better late than never, like that's their mentality. They feel like it's better late than never to come to you now and to express what you mean to them and how much they quote unquote still care about you. I do not doubt for one second as I sit with this energy that there is a lot of feelings there between you and they. I, I do trust the fact that there are a lot of love feelings, but my concern that I get and I squint my eyes, like spirit is showing me, like me squinting my eyes as we look at this together. And I love the fact too that the, the divine is allowing us to be friendship, like have a friendship as we're looking at this, assessing the situation. It's like we're both squinting our eyes and we want to see, okay, I yes, there could be a tremendous amount of love between you and I, between this, right? That's how you feel. Like there's so much love between, and I, I know this person loves me. I know this person cares. And it, you want so badly to believe it. And it is the truth. I want to confirm to you that they do really love you they do really care but i just can't help but to squint and notice the fact that there might be an intention behind this that may not be necessarily clear to them and to be honest and truthful if it's not entirely clear to them it's an even more dangerous relationship or connection to pursue or to welcome back into your life especially if you work so hard to get to the place that it is that you are right now it's always said throughout history that as soon as someone finds peace within themselves, something or someone has to try to come through and disrupt it or pull you up from the root. And I cannot sit back and be silent and allow that to happen to you. So, and the divine is so protective of you and doesn't want you to be run over or for anything to disrespect you or to set you up for failure because the divine and your angels and your guides do not want you to ever have to experience unnecessary pain or suffering. And there's a really strong potential that pain, 
suffering and chaos that's from the unnecessary realms could be re-entering into your life if you allow this person to come come in any more any further so there was this hold on let me see if i can remember because there's something specific that was said there was something specific that was said it had something to do with Oh, so yes, this person genuinely loves you and cares about you, but since they've lived their life without you, they've noticed that life or the world seems to be like a harsher place. This would sound in theory like the highest compliment. This would sound in theory like this is the highest compliment, but the truth is, is that the presence of you in their life is not a, a, a position where they respect you and they love you and cherish you it's because something about you was convenient for them and made the journey towards life more easier and it takes a really highly evolved soul and spirit and someone who has really grounded themselves and rooted themselves and has healed their root chakra and healed their solar plexus and healed their sacral chakra to to have the strength or the discernment to know that, okay, this could be a highest compliment that this person has realized that life sucks without me. But if you really sat with it, you would understand that the reason why life sucks is because of how much you gave to this person. And of course the world can sometimes be a cruel place and that you might be a person of high energy, high vibration, a lot of compassion, but you are not an object, a tool to make someone else's experience and life easier or better. Of course, it's wonderful to be generous and giving and kind and compassionate and loving to the people around us, strangers and people that we have relationships with or that we have families with, of course, that that's a blessing. But your purpose here and what the divine really wants to speak into your spirit right now is that you are not someone who is meant to be convenient, convenience an option or to make a shoulder to exclusively cry on, especially when so much of you is wanting more from the situation or your it, it's a distraction from your purpose or your place i don't know what why but spirit is trying to put you into a position of, of a place that is for your for your betterment for your position and this person has to go through life cold in the figuring it out all by themselves and good luck to them hopefully they do find someone with your heart but also more importantly Hopefully they find the tools and the the authenticity, the integrity, the ability to be honest, the ability to be mature in order to foster a healthy relationship with people that they want so badly to have in their life or that they want so badly to have access to. And truthfully speaking, the divine and me your guides and my guides all of us together we look at the situation and we squint because we can see the intention of this person again there's no doubt that they don't care about you and love you and of course i believe i don't i don't i don't think that they're lying when they say that listen i went this time without you and it's better now than never me coming to you and telling you how much you mean to me and can i come back and it first starts off with them saying like no i just want to tell you how i feel and how are you doing or checking in but ultimately there is an ulterior motive behind that it's a way to kind of gain entry into something that you're not meant to provide within their life. It would not be fair for you to fill in the whole, the void that is, that is missing within their lives when you yourself deserve so much more. There was another layer to this. Oh, Spirit said, watch when you reiterate your boundary or when you test, because I think, is my camera giving me a hard time with, yeah, okay. Spirit was saying, she's so loud with her drinking, like good for her for hydration. And maybe this is a message to Nova, come here. I'll let her drink afterwards, but it's absolutely distracting. Come on, sit down. There was this message too, and then I'll go. Um, I'll then allow her to drink her water. But there was this message that watch how this person or these people, so let's say if it's family, if it's family, it feels like it's more than one. It's one person specifically, but there's a lot of people speaking into that one person's ear. That's a very specific message for someone, but I feel that loud and clear, right? So let's say it's, um, let's say you tell this person like, you know, honestly, genuinely, like it means a lot for me to hear you say this. Um, I care about you too, but you know, it's just not, I don't see that. I don't feel that this is not what I want anymore. Watch how they react. 
do they respect your boundary? Do they respect where you're at right now? Or do they lash out and try to hurt you in some way? Will they slander you in some way? Do you trust that if you speak to them and say like, listen, I don't want the same things as you. Do you feel safe enough to say that to them without the fear of some type of punishment or backlash or something coming in and, and just taking, hurting you in some way coming exclusively from this person? Sorry guys, she's so, so needy right now, clearly. What are you going through? Look at her, she's just a nut. You would think, she literally weighs the same size, is almost the same size as me, she's so protective, and she leans all of her body weight in because she's doing the most right now, always. All right, honey, so um, yeah, and if the message is, or if you know, because you'll know, you'll know, if you know that if, if you, say to them like listen i don't want the same thing or i don't i've you know blah 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 or i don't know if i want and they if you don't feel safe that is a huge sign a huge sign of confirmation and truth truthfully genuinely trust that do you want to get your eye boogers all over me because that's what it kind of feels like right now humbling look as i said that ugh. all right guys i'm gonna go i have a, a lot of other messages but i'm actually trying to pace myself and journal them which is a huge step for me because usually when I receive downloads I just be slamming them onto the internet or slamming them around watch the rug slamming them all over and it's just <sighs> spirit is just telling me to pace myself and for the first time in my life I'm getting more comfortable with that and that is growth that is growth so there will be some more messages, but again, I'm going to pace myself. Watch the rug. She has this, I don't know if you guys see this, but this mirror behind, sometimes she slides. She understands that rug slide, so she'll jump and slide. And I'm concerned that this mirror will knock over, and that's just not something that I want for any of us. More importantly, the mirror. I'm just kidding. All right, guys. I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Look at that. This thing came from the rug. Okay, bye.